This is Ravine Flyer 2 in Uri, Pennsylvania at Waldemere Amusement Park. This is a wooden roller coaster, an obscure wooden roller coaster, right off Lake Erie. And, like, Cedar Point's two hours away. So, it's, Lake Erie's massive. But, Ravine Flyer 2, in my opinion, is a mini voyage. This thing is great. Like, it's only 80 feet tall, but it's, like, one of the best roller coasters. It's built by PTC, not Gravity Group. Um, this is a, this ride actually didn't open. Um, I'm not sure when it opened. Um, but we have a drop of 118 feet because of the way the hill is. It's a bigger drop than, um, the height. It's also 2,900 feet in length, so it's pretty long of a ride. Um, we have a, a duration of a minute 30 and a, uh, vertical angle of 60 degrees drop, so pretty steep drop. But, um, we, this was made by the Gravity Group, which also made Voyage, which I will compare this ride as much, probably, as it will. This is, in, so this is literally, this is so weird. This, the layout, the very back is literally, like, in a neighborhood, but the rest of the ride is a little tiny. It's really like it's not long. It, that if you don't count the out and back, it's like it'd probably be like, like I don't even know, like six hundred feet at most. That's how short it is over in the actual park. Cause and night rides on this thing are great because it goes so far back there and there's no lights. The view is so pretty. Um, like you just have Lake Erie and it even it's just like Voyage because it has the flags up there. Um, it also is, um, it doesn't have timber liners. Um, I kind of wish it did. It has the old fashioned PTC train, but whatever, it's fine. Um, cause the view more than, more than the ride makes up for it. So the view of Lake Erie is so pretty. Um, this is also, um, the elements are just a chain lift. Um, arrangement, you have two trains with six car, six cars per train, and riders arrange two across, two rows of 24 riders per train. The capacity's not that bad. I feel like that's fine for Waldemere, because this, I feel like this amusement park, when you think of amusement parks in Pennsylvania, you think of Dorney Park, Hershey Park, um, you think of Kennywood prop. That's like it. Um, and but you don't forget about Waldemere. This place, if it didn't have Ravine Flyer too, it would not like be that big of a deal. I feel like there's a lot of parks named Waldemere for some reason. Um, this is one of the best wooden roller coasters. I actually put this in my top fifteen. Um. We have we have a cost of six million dollars, so it wasn't that expensive. I'm assuming this was built a little bit after Voyage or before Voyage. I'm gonna say it was a little after because it has 90 degree bank turn. Um, yeah, that's one thing that Voyage did. So th there's now 90 degree turns on wooden roller coasters now. So thank you to Voyage and Gravity Group. Um. Also, this is Ravine Flyer 2. I wonder why it's 2. Um, it's built, the built, the trains are built by PTC Incorporation, Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters. I thought it was Philadelphia Toboggan Company. What? Okay. Um, the, the view is great. The park, this park is not like, it doesn't have all that much. It has a good, a big water park, but like everything else is kind of like not really. I mean, there's a nice picnic area, but like aside from that, there's not too much. I mean, I think there's an SBF visa and there's a couple more things, I'm pretty sure. But there's, they also have a drop tower, uh, Sea Dragon, 
uh, boat, um, there's a couple more things, there's sky ride, um, uh, ch a chair, uh, the swing, the chair swing, um, th but sun my favorite type of rides is night rides and sunset rides, because it's so pretty, um, this thing flies, it's like voyage, but like, it's, it's mini, it's like how, if you notice how either sometimes twist, <laughs> twisted timbers or untamed will get compared to Steel Vengeance, Steel Vengeance is the voyage, and then, like, Ravine Flyer 2 is like Twisted Timbers, uh, I hear a lot of people that say Twisted Timbers is so much better than, uh, Steel Vengeance, Steel Vengeance to me feel, feel feels repetitive, it doesn't, it's like, after the mid-course, you can just, it's just, uh, 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 it's like, painful, um, um, also, um, this is, um, a, this is, this goat flies over a road, like, what in the Kentucky Kingdom, or, like, Valley Fair, like, there's a lot of parks, now that I see this, that do this, the closest park, um, I think is Hershey Park, is Hershey, not Hershey, um, like, I think Kennywood's the closest, but the most similar I compare this co this park to is, is Adventureland over in Iowa, if we're talking about the, the main park, but over back where, um, Ravine Flyer 2 is, I'd compare this to Holiday World, probably because and also from these back 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 views, um, it also kind of looks like a Boulder Dash at like Compounds, which is not that far away from here. It's on it's only about four hours. It's in Connecticut, over in Connecticut. So, um, I think this is a solid ride. Yeah, the airtime is great. Don't the airtime's great. The elements are great. Everything's great. It's just, I feel like it's kind of short. Um, but I'm going to give this a 7.8 out of 10. It's not the best roller coaster, but it's also not, it's not a, I would say this could be a world-class roller coaster. It's, and this is not an overrated ride. This is great, actually. Bean Flyer 2, it's a 7.5. Alright, more reviews to see here from Coaster Stuff coming soon. Goodbye.